guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra Michelle if you're new and welcome back to another weekly vlog so today is a Monday and I just came from the grocery store because my husband and I are doing fruits and veggies only this week um I don't really have a time limit on when I'm gonna do it but I know it's gonna be at least until Friday because I'm uh got some plans this weekend so I won't be doing that through the weekend <laughs> Today is Monday, so we're going to do it at least Monday through Thursday. So I got a bunch of fruits and veggies, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. First, we have bananas, grapes, some kiwi, strawberries, mini cucumber, red onion, mint, baby carrots, sweet peppers. I did get some hummus. I got the um, jalapeno cilantro hummus, bagged salad, cabbage. So that's everything I got from the regular grocery store, but I also went to Trader Joe's, of course. Organic spinach, another bag salad. I think these are called rumbatan. These are like a fruit. Um, it's like the little spiky fruit, but it's supposed to be sweet inside. So I got these for like a little, when we want like a little sweet treat. Cherries, green and yellow squash, avocado, edamame shredded cabbage with carrot got another hummus this is the chili onion crunch hummus frozen organic mixed berries for smoothies two lemon lentils and a pineapple so that is our fruit and veggies grocery haul as you can see we threw a couple of more hearty things in there just to get us through but yeah i'm gonna put all these things away and i'll see y'all later So today is Wednesday and we are headed to Universal Studios. If you guys watched the previous vlog, you know that we were supposed to go last week, but um, we didn't get to go last week. And if you want to know why, make sure you go back and watch last week's video. But today's the day we are going to Universal Studios in Hollywood and we are dressed. I have on my like vintage Mario shirt. So we all have like a version of Mario because the whole reason why we're going is my six-year-old loves Super Mario Brothers and he wants to go to Mario World, so that's why we're going. Um, yes, and so we are getting ready to go now. We are all dressed. I'm just finishing up, packing up our bag. Um, I'm packing like extra clothes, snacks, water, you know, the works, an extra charger, um, sunscreen, medicine, I'm trying to think of literally everything. <laughs> because we're gonna be out there all day. So I wanna make sure we have everything that we need. I got extra clothes for myself. Um, in case I haven't been to Universal Studios in a long time, I'm not sure if they have like water um, rides that have water involved or whatever. So I wanted to make sure we all had extra clothes. Um, I will be bringing my camera, I think. I'm gonna take it with me. <laughs> I believe I'm gonna bring it in the park, but if I don't bring it in the park, I will at least take you guys on my phone. So yeah, this is gonna be a family vlog, so let's go. All right, we made it. Are you so excited? Yeah! <laughs> so we have just arrived at Universal Studios. We are about to park. Um, yeah, we are so excited. Huh? So we have Jack. We 
have Kimbin and we have Franklin and of course we have Mommy. We are taking the preferred parking route a little bit closer to the gate. A beautiful day. Hopefully that's not out. Hello. It's so hot, guys. Really, really hot. But yeah, so they give you like these watches. Show me your watch. So he has to power up with these watches on all of the games in Mario World. So that's what we're doing right now. We have scheduled a time to come back to do Mario Kart at 2.15. So we have a couple of hours before we do that. And I'm finding shade wherever I can because it is so hot. So we're working on our last key. How many keys do you have? Two. We need one more. Mom, do it really fast. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna turn it really, really fast. This is what we have to do. Taking a quick little snack break, and we're gonna go up. So we're right here. So we're right here in the town square. Feel welcome. Give him a nice little warm round of applause. We'll see you later, Jay. Yes. Oh, Angel is coming. Angel is our driver. He's almost on board. So I'll tell you when, and then we'll uh, we'll shove up here. Last call for 3D glances, okay? 
And then we're, uh, we're gonna go have some fun. Alone too, lost in New York. There's a sequence where Macaulay Culkin's throwing down all those paint cans at the bandits. This is it. Filmed in the middle of July, by the way. So if you rewatch that movie, Joe Pesci is sweating quite a bit on his forehead because it was very hot and it's you know snowing, but not real snow. But right over here, Back to the Future fans, Courthouse oh. Square, better known as Hill Valley, California. Ancient creature. He's a force of nature. He's all. He's wise, he's proud, he's fierce, and also he has a heart. in so long. <laughs> I'm like, this used to be the spot in high school. But yeah, we used to come here when I was in high school all the time. And yeah. Now we're here with kids looking for stuffed animals. <laughs> okay, so here's our last hope. Finding what we're looking for. And all I see is Bowser everywhere. Nobody wants Bowser. I don't see him. All I see is Bowser everywhere. Ooh, look at the backpack though. Settle for the minion. He's huge. Up here, buddy. Gotta give it to him. Uh, good thing about us. Uh, we are on team car. Hey guys, so today is Friday. I think the last clip that you guys saw was from me and my family at Universal Studios. And today we have different scenery. So um, yeah, we had a great time at Universal Studios on Wednesday. Uh, we got back super late, um, but we had a great time. It was really hot out there. Um, I'll give my review of that later. Um, right now I am back in downtown LA. If you guys watched a couple vlogs ago, you guys know I was just here um last month but we are celebrating yet another birthday um for my friend group we have birthdays back to back so starting in july we have july august september and october and then um my son's birthdays are in october and november so we got birthdays throughout the rest of the year pretty much but um yeah we're gonna be going to dinner tonight so of course we got a room um that is one of our safety measures is just to go ahead and stay in the area since we live about an hour away um but yeah it's pretty early right now so we're just gonna like hang out um until it's time to get ready for dinner later but we are back at the same hotel that we were at last time which is the ac hotel downtown la it has become a fan fave. I really like the hotel as well as the staff here are very accommodating, very nice and warm and bubbly. So we came right back here. Um, I believe there's a concert down here tonight. So it's gonna get kind of hectic later, but right now it's still pretty calm. I won't really show you guys the room again because I showed you guys last time. If you wanna see the room, you can check out a previous video. I'll put it up in the cards. Um, but I will show you guys the bathroom because I forgot to show you guys the bathroom last time. So let me show you that. So like I said before, the only thing about this hotel that we don't like is that they don't have like a lot of lighting. So you do need to bring your own. 
but yeah this is the sink area and you do have a mirror here and one sink and then this is kind of like a mirror on this side it's just like a tinted mirror and then you have your toilet area here and then you have your stand-in shower here which is really nice i love the shower and then over here you have a closet with storage for your shoes up there hanging items and then you have a couple of drawers here and then on this side you have your um, refrigerator which you get some complimentary water in there some shelving coffee maker your safe ice bucket that water you do have to pay for and then a little bit more storage up there and they also gave us waters on the way in another thing that we enjoy about this hotel is they always give us an upgrade <laughs> so i am a marriott bonvoy member so that does help so we um get free upgrades with my status but also we can tell them it's your birthday that you're gonna give you some drink tickets and they gave us um today they gave us two comp breakfasts for tomorrow and their breakfast here is supposed to be really really good so we will definitely be indulging in that even though we're going to brunch tomorrow we're still going to go to their breakfast <laughs> but yeah so we're about to just get set up and hang out and then i'll catch back up with you guys later you guys know i had to bring my favorite margaritas from trader joe's <laughs> So we're gonna be trying the 818 tequila for the first time. You haven't tried it, right? No. Okay, we're gonna be trying this for the first time. And then I also picked this up at Sam's Club, the bread and butter Prosecco. So we're gonna be trying this for the first time. But yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. Gonna get some ice to chill this. See you on Sunday, girl. First drink of the day. Have any limes? Right. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that tastes like 1800 to me. It does. I was gonna say it's not. It's not even as good as the Trader Joe's one. No. It tastes very cheap, and it's supposed to be. Y'all don't get it. It's not good. Y'all don't get it at all. It says 100% agave azul. They're lying. No, it's a no for me. Hi, Kendra Swalk. Hi, I'm not looking in the room. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I don't, I'm not sure where I should be looking, but hey, y'all. It's my birthday. Come with us tonight. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, girl. <laughs> So we came to the rooftop bar and grill at the hotel and it is so nice. Look at the city. Look at all that traffic. It's Friday, y'all. But it's so beautiful up here. So we are at this little bar called, oh, this table is rocky. Go ahead. So we're at this little bar called Frank, and they have happy hour right now, so we're just getting a little snack because dinner is later on tonight. But it's super cute over here. We found a little shady spot. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Our drinks are ready. <laughs> so yeah, it's right downtown. The Staples Center is right over there. So this is a cute little spot if you are coming to the downtown area, to the Staples Center. This is a cute little place to grab drinks and food before you go to the game or the show or wherever you're going. Staples Center is right down the street. I know. So I got the sidecar and she got the Paloma. You guys, the happy hour here is so good. Five dollars. Yummy. 
So here's our food. I got this sweet chili chicken strips, which are fire. And then the shrimp taco. So I'm back. We're all ready for dinner. And of course we are rushing out the door. I'm gonna do a little birthday cheers and then get in the Uber. I have to put my shoes on. Happy birthday! This nasty tequila. Slip my shoes on. The lighting in here is horrific. And I left my little light at home. So that sucks. But we're gonna make it do what it is. Oh, it's blurry. Okay. And my phone. if y'all could see because my camera was looking a little fuzzy but that was hilarious so let me go over here where I can get some light so we were just on TikTok live and this guy gets on there from Nigeria and it was quite entertaining we were hilariously laughing but yeah great night see y'all tomorrow good morning my face still looks dry we made it through yet another night. Let's go. <laughs> so I don't know if I told you guys, but when we checked in, they gave us these breakfast cards. So we're about to go and see what their breakfast is about. Even though we're going to brunch later, but we just wanna go check it out and see what they have. So we're about to go to breakfast. These doors be shut on this fast. Situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebrations with the guys I sacrificed because I knew you could not sleep without it. Meanwhile, So this is what I got. I got a croissant of egg frittata, some mixed fruits, and then I got a caramel latte and some fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Buffet breakfast. 
this and then they brought this one that looks delicious but I'm already full so I'm gonna fake eat it. Delicious. It's a Belgian, Belgian waffle with fruit. I'm gonna give it a little taste. I think they put like a strawberry syrup on it. It's a little hard, I ain't gonna lie. Tastes like a dessert. <laughs> so we made it to the place we work where we are going to brunch, which is Harriet's uh, rooftop. But you guys, if you guys didn't know, in LA, a lot of the workers are striking along with um, actors, writers, but also hotel workers. So they are striking in front of the hotel, so they have the ballet downstairs, but there's no signage to tell us like where to go or whatever. So it's very sketchy, but we found it. So yeah, it's not gonna elevate it, but it's a lot going on around here, you guys. So we made it. We're gonna go up to the rooftop now to have brunch, but we also found out that they're not serving brunch right now, so we're gonna go have lunch. So yeah, let's go.